we're starting off with some deadly animals and work our way towards the deadliest animal in the world. Starting with number seven, saltwater crocodiles. The two perpetrators of the vast majority of both fatal and non-fatal crocodilian attacks are the Nile crocodile found in sub-Saharan Africa and the saltwater crocodile found in Southeast Asia, New Guinea and Australia. The mugger crocodile is also a frightening one, killing several people in India every year, with the fatality rate being slightly less than 50% of all attacks. Unlike the two aforementioned reptiles, the victims of the mugger crocodile are often not eaten, which may show that attacks by this species are defensive or territorial rather than predatory. Despite efforts to reduce human-crocodile conflicts, the number of deaths by crocodiles remains significant. Authorities in affected regions are constantly working to raise awareness about the dangers of encountering these apex predators and to implement safety measures to protect humans from attacks. It is important for individuals living in or visiting areas where crocodiles are present to be vigilant and take precautions to avoid potential encounters. Number six, scorpions. Scorpions are an ancient group of arthropods known for their venomous sting. While many species of scorpions pose little threat to humans, there are some that can deliver a deadly sting. Each year, it is estimated that scorpions cause over 2,500 deaths worldwide. Most scorpion-related fatalities occur in North Africa, the Middle East, and parts of South America, where venomous species are more prevalent. The venom of a scorpion can cause a range of symptoms, from mild pain and swelling to severe muscle spasms, difficulty breathing, and even death in some cases. While scorpion stings can be dangerous, deaths are relatively rare. Prompt medical attention is crucial in cases of scorpion envenomation, as specialized treatments are available to counteract the effects of the venom. To prevent scorpion-related deaths, it is essential to take precautions when living or traveling in areas where scorpions are common. This includes wearing protective clothing, shaking out clothing and shoes before putting them on, and keeping living spaces clean and free of debris that may attract scorpions. Number five, assassin bugs. Assassin bugs, also known as kissing bugs for having the habit of biting people's faces as they sleep, are blood-sucking insects found primarily in the Americas. Their bites are usually painless, but can transmit a parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi, which causes Chagas disease in humans. It is estimated that approximately 8 million people worldwide are infected with the parasite, leading to about 10,000 deaths annually. However, not all deaths from Chagas disease are directly caused by assassin bugs, as the parasite can also be transmitted through blood transfusions, organ transplants, or from mother to child during pregnancy. The majority of fatalities from Chagas disease occur in Latin America, where the insects are most prevalent. Poor housing conditions and lack of access to healthcare are major factors to the high mortality rate in these regions. Preventative measures such as insecticide spraying, improving housing conditions, and screening blood donors have been effective in reducing the number of deaths from assassin bugs. Number four, dogs. Ah yes, man's best friend. Each year, up to 50,000 people worldwide die from dog-related injuries. While dogs are often seen as beloved companions and loyal pets, they have the potential to cause harm when not properly trained or supervised. Most of these fatalities occur in low- and middle-income countries where access to basic veterinary care and education about responsible pet ownership may be limited. In these areas, stray dogs are more common and may pose a greater risk to human populations. Children are particularly vulnerable to dog attacks, accounting for a significant portion of the annual casualties. In many cases, dog-related fatalities can be prevented through education, responsible pet ownership and proper training for both dogs and their owners. By taking proactive measures, we can reduce the number of human deaths caused by dogs each year and create safer communities for both people and pets. Number three, venomous snakes. Worldwide, it is estimated that over 100,000 people die each year because of snake bites. Most snake bite deaths occur in rural areas where access to medical treatment is limited to non-existent. In regions such as sub-Saharan Africa and Southeast Asia, the mortality rate from snake bites is higher. The deadliest snakes include the saw-scaled vipers, which is responsible for around 50,000 deaths alone, cobras and the common crate, whose bites can cause paralysis, internal bleeding and respiratory failure if not treated promptly. Sometimes, victims may suffer from long-term disabilities even if they survive the bite. Efforts are being made to reduce the number of deaths caused by snake bites through various means, such as improving access to anti-venom and educating communities on how to prevent and treat snake bites. It is vital for individuals living in snake-prone areas to be aware of the dangers of venomous snakes and take precautions to avoid being bitten, such as wearing protective clothing and shoes, 
staying away from tall grass and bushes and seeking medical help immediately if bitten. Number two, freshwater snails. Freshwater snails may seem harmless, but they pose a significant threat to human health. The World Health Organization estimates that freshwater snails are responsible for over 200,000 deaths worldwide each year. These deaths are largely due to the parasitic infection known as snail fever, which is transmitted by certain freshwater snails. Schistosomiasis is a neglected tropical disease that affects over 200 million people worldwide, particularly in developing countries with poor sanitation and limited access to clean water. The disease is caused by parasitic flatworms that live in the blood vessels of the human host, where they lay eggs that are passed in the feces or urine. When these eggs encounter fresh water, they hatch into larvae that infect freshwater snails, completing the parasite's life cycle. When humans come into contact with contaminated water, such as while swimming, fishing or washing clothes, they can become infected with the parasite. If left untreated, schistosomiasis can lead to a range of health problems, including liver damage, kidney failure, and an increased risk of bladder cancer. Number one, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are one of the deadliest creatures on the planet, responsible for more human deaths each year than any other animal. It is estimated that mosquitoes are responsible for over 700,000 human deaths worldwide every year. One of the main ways in which mosquitoes cause death is through the transmission of diseases such as malaria, dengue fever, Zika virus, and yellow fever. These diseases are spread when an infected mosquito bites a person, transferring the disease-causing pathogens into their bloodstream. Malaria is one of the deadliest mosquito-borne diseases, with over 400,000 people dying from the disease each year, mainly in sub-Saharan Africa. In addition to directly causing death through disease transmission, mosquitoes can also contribute to the spread of other illnesses such as encephalitis and West Nile virus. Efforts to control mosquito populations and prevent the spread of mosquito-borne illnesses are crucial in reducing the number of human deaths caused by these insects. This includes measures such as insecticide spraying, draining standing water, and using mosquito nets and repellents to protect against bites. An accurate count of annual human fatalities by each of the animals in this video is difficult to obtain. This is a rough estimation of the actual numbers, 